of 1946. In connection with this application, I want to read to the Council two telegrams which have been received. One telegram or letters. One letter is from the permanent delegate of Greece to the United Nations, Ambassador Vasily Dendramis. It's dated August 21st and reads as follows. Sir, further to the report of the committee, which has been asked to consider applications from states wishing to become members of the United Nations, the Security Council will shortly be called upon to discuss the application of Albania. Since the question of Albania's admission, on which the Security Council will have to come to a decision, is a matter specially affecting the interests of my country, I have the honor, under instructions from my government, to ask you to be good enough to inform the President and other members of the Security Council that under Article 31 of the Charter, Greece is requesting to be invited to participate in the discussions of the Security Council on this matter. I have the honor, etc., signature. The other letter, dated August 27, is from Mr. Pavle Lukin, Acting Chief of the Permanent Yugoslav Delegation to the United Nations. The letter reads as follows. So, upon instruction of the Government of the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia, may I renew the request made February 11, 1946, regarding the admission of the representative of Yugoslavia to the meeting of the Security Council on which the admission of Albania will be discussed. The undersigned will be the representative of Yugoslavia to that meeting. Signed, P. Lukin. Translation, please. Uh, the President. Messieurs les représentants de la Grèce et de la Yougoslavie à venir prendre place à la table du Conseil. The delegate of the Soviet Union may now continue. Monsieur le représentant de l'Union soviétique est prié de continuer son discours. Cette борьба не только не ослабевала по мере развития Второй мировой войны, но напротив, она принимала все более решительные и интенсивные формы и продолжалось вплоть до полного освобождения территории Албании от фашистских захватчиков. I leave in your hands, Mr. Chairman, whether you want to have the vote on my motion now or after all of the discussion on Albania. Uh, if, however, before continuing that discussion, we are to take a decision on the proposal made by the United States delegate that the applications of Albania and Outer Mongolia should be deferred, uh, may I say that I, myself, am, am ready to endorse that proposal. Mr. President, je me proposais de parler, de parler. Après la charte, sont éligibles comme membres des Nations Unies. Les pays pacifiques qui acceptent les obligations de la charte et qui sont capables et désirés de faire honneur à leurs engagements. Ne soient pas admises au sein des Nations Unies Tant que les questions de frontières avec celles-ci n'auront pas été réglées, que des relations normales entre les deux pays ne seront pas établies, et que l'Albanie ne donnera pas de preuves que c'est un pays pacifique, ayant la capacité et la volonté de se conformer aux obligations internationales et de respecter les droits de l'homme. 